Hey guys, Brandon here with Exotic Diecast, bringing you guys another quick video on painting some wheels. Uh, pretty much every video I've done like this, the breakdown of every model car is pretty similar, but each time I make a video, you guys like to see more of them, uh, even if it's different cars, but the same breakdown. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, if you saw my video from yesterday, you see that I just got my white uh, 118 scale Brago slash Maisto uh, Nissan GTR. I like it in white, but these silver wheels are a little bit boring, so I'll be painting them gloss black. Uh, this Viper looks really, really great, but to make the red calipers stand out a little bit more, I think if these wheels were in gloss black, it would give it a little bit more of a pop as well. So I'm just going to be painting these two cars, and like I said, I've already made tutorials on cars like the 488 GTB. Uh, I also painted the calipers, but won't be doing that today. Um, but yeah, if you want to see a, a more kind of further breakdown in painting, even the uh, lower side skirt and, and the roof, that I made a video on this car completely. But just the difference that wheels can make. I mean, these wheels were silver before and it was boring. After everything else, especially the wheels, it gave it just a little bit of a special look. And then literally this took less than half an hour. But the Huracan, silver wheels before, very boring. Now gloss black and I just think it looks so much better. And I think the same thing for these cars here. So we'll just go ahead and start breaking them down. Alright, so just in case you haven't seen any other of my videos, all you need is obviously the 118 scale model car to disassemble. Pretty much all of Maisto and Barago disassemble the exact same. There's a couple that don't. Some that jump out in mind is like the uh, 997, 911 GT3 RS. Um, I'm still not too sure how to disassemble those, but uh, for the majority of them, like this Barago, it came in a Maisto box, and this Maisto here, uh, they all disassemble very similarly, and if you could figure one out, you could kind of get them all for the most part. Um, other than that, obvious thing, uh, some black spray paint. People think that you need like very, very special kind of paint. Um, if I'm doing a very expensive car, like a model car, and I want it to be done really, really well, I'll be that finicky. But in the most cases, these cars are not that expensive. Um, and so I just use this kind of, you know, Rusto Liam American accent. That doesn't really matter. Just gloss black spray paint. And if it says also bonds to plastic, obviously you want that for the plastic wheels. I don't know what spray paint really doesn't bond to plastic though. Um, Anyway, oh no, I forgot to mention, uh, um, there is like that one paint I was mentioning for the uh, expensive model cars. Uh, I forgot who makes it, like Tamaya Tam or something like that. I will link to where you can get that specific paint and this paint if it's on Amazon. Uh, but the specific paint, uh, if you really want it to be really, really professional, I will link in the description to where you guys can buy that paint. Uh, as well as these cars. These cars are both on Amazon, so uh, check the description. You guys can check them out. A screwdriver, obviously, for disassembling the car. You can just see what size that is from looking at your model car. And this is just a shoe box. I just take the top here off, and I put the wheels in there, and then I spray paint uh, down in there. Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and move the Viper off to the side. We'll do that second. But I just say we start with the uh, GTR here. Looking at underneath the GTR, there's a screw here and then two here. So we'll just go ahead and unscrew that. So I just removed those three screws and I also realized that there's two other screws here but they are uh, a different size. So just be sure you separate those. And with all the screws removed, you should be able to kind of just pry it out and there might be some parts getting caught. It's usually like the steering wheel. So just kind of force that down and there it is. So there's the underneath and here's the rest of the shell. We're kind of done with this so we can just place that off to the side. And uh, in here is uh, the main chassis and assembly. So forgive me if I'm a little slow here, it's been a while since I disassembled the GTR, but just to make things easier we could remove the trunk and that just kind of put gets put back in those pins. Then the whole seat's here, that should just kind of unpry itself. There we are, and then you kind of just have to watch the steering wheel. And then once that's removed, uh, here is the whole rear axle here with the uh, wheels, so just kind of remember that that's for the rear. And then the front here, let's see, I forgot how to do this one. I think, yeah, it just lifts up like that, nice and easy. So we'll just kind of put everything off to the side. And then just to make this easy, we can remo remove the uh, steering column here. Just kind of unclips from that hole there. All right, so once you have your front and rear axle, it's pretty easy. You just find this hole here, put your screwdriver through it where the uh, pin would normally go, and you just kind of pry it off like this, and your wheel just pops out. So just go ahead and do that with all four of them. All right, so once you have the wheels removed, it looks like all of them are gonna be the same size, so no worrying about confusion. Take the axles and the brake discs stay on there, as you can see. And now we're just gonna remove, I'm looking at it again, it looks like all of these are the exact same size. So you can just peel off the tires from the wheels and uh, you don't have to get confused which are which. You just go ahead and place the wheels to the side. All right, and with all the wheels together, you go ahead and take your tires, put them away with the rest of the car 
And, um, and there you go, these are ready to be painted. So we're just gonna go ahead and put these right over here. Now we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the Viper. Now for the Viper, I see five screws, or actually multiple. We might actually not have to screw these screws. I see a screw here and here and here, but I also see some maestos look like this. I see a screw here and here that look like that will alone separate the axle, and then here and here that will do the same. So we might not have to disassemble it fully. So we're just gonna unscrew the rear first, just these two right here. All right, and you have to hold this thing down because it is uh, sprung with the suspension, so just hold it down while you uh, unscrew the second screw. And then this plastic thing right here uh, should just lift out, and just like that, there is the rear axle. Here's the suspension pieces, so just make sure you keep that with the screws or something. And we'll just do the same thing with the uh, front. So again, hold down the uh, full plastic thing there while you unscrew the second screw, and all these are the same size, thankfully. And then you just lift up, and then pry off one by one here. And actually, it is stuck on the steering, so you just have to take that little pin off there. And once you do that, here is the front axle, again with the suspension. All the suspension little pieces are the same size, so you can just put all that together. And then you can just put this off to the side, so that one is very easy. And again, here's the hole uh, right there, so you can just put this there. And then this wheel should just pry right off, just like this. On that one, the uh, brake disc came off as well, so that's fine. We can just kind of snap all that kind of back together like so. Uh, we only need the wheels. All right, so I got all the wheels separated, and on these, there is a difference in size with the wheel and tire. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, so just remember which ones are the fronts. So we got these two, and then these are the rear. Um, but yeah, then again, just like the GTR, just gonna go ahead and peel off the tire. All right, so now we got all eight of our wheels ready for paint, and so now we're just gonna put them in the box and then spray them down. All right, so I went ahead and put the uh, back side of the tires facing upwards. I'm gonna paint the uh, back first. That way the front doesn't get messed up when I rotate it. Uh, so yeah, we're doing the back first, so just make sure you shake up the can real well. And then you don't have to go too heavy for the first coat, just kind of spray from this far away here. Just make sure you get it from all kinds of different angles. All right, after you let it dry for maybe about six minutes or so, go ahead and just do the second coat. All right, now when they're dry, go ahead and just rotate them upwards so you see the faces of them. All right, so now with the wheels nice and dry, they look pretty good and gloss black. We're gonna do the uh, GTR first. Now we just need to, again, since all of it is the same size, it's pretty easy, but we just need to slip on the tire to the wheel. Be sure that the wheel is completely dry, that way you don't damage anything. And it's probably good to go this direction just so the face of the wheel doesn't get all smeared up, just in case. All right, so once all the wheels are on the tire, uh, go ahead and get your axles. I'll just start with the front here and just kind of place it over it uh, good enough and just kind of get it like that. Then like kind of reverse, you know what to do, you just put this through here. And then make sure this is dry and then you can just snap it on together. And just make sure that uh, you do that tightly and then you just do it with all the other four. All right, and then once these are all back on, you go ahead and get your uh, axles here. And there's pretty much no wrong way of doing these because there's no calipers, so you just kind of slip them on where they were originally. Just kind of put the pins through the uh, the holes there. And then uh, you do the same for the front. Make sure that the hole for the steering is on the right side. All right, once that's all put back in place, you just put your uh, whole other assembly, like the seats and everything, back in place to kind of find the right pins. It should kind of fall into place, and then once you get the pins lined up, you just kind of start snapping it down. When you put that back, you could also just slip the trunk back together again, just find the right pins. And then after the trunk's put back in place, you could get the steering wheel, and, uh, and just make sure that it slots right into place here. Once everything's assembled here, all you have to do, just to make it a little easier, you can open everything up here. And then you kind of just slot the car right back into place. Some things kind of might lock up here. Let's just turn it upside down. You just kind of find what's sticking out. In this case, it's the steering wheel again. So just kind of give it a tug and just make sure everything just lines up correctly here. Once everything's kind of locked down in place and flush, you just remember which screws go where. Obviously, these go in the side. Once you got the last screw in there, just make sure everything's kind of flush. And then there you go. You got the black wheels now. Steering should still work. 
Uh, and there you go. So that's just a quick uh, wheel change. We'll go ahead and do the same with the Viper. But uh, anyway, that didn't take too long, and now the GTR is finished. All right, now with both the cars put back together, you can see that both of them have the gloss black wheels, and I really like the look of that, especially for the Viper with the red brake calipers. It just stands out a little bit more, but yeah, that gloss black looks real good, and obviously with the GTR as well. Anyway, kind of a quick video. Again, I have many more like them. If you think I kind of skimmed through on this one because I kind of went quicker, uh, I have plenty of other videos and tutorials on the, especially the white 488 GTB. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next one.